Hello friends and welcome back. In this lecture we will solve another exercise on arrays. And here is the exercise. I want you to write a program that displays the maximum and the minimum elements of an array. So for example, if we have this array over here, our program should display that the minimum is equal to 1 and the maximum is equal to 5. So we should iterate over this array and find the minimum element and the maximum element. So pause the video and try to do this. So previously, we solved an exercise to find the minimum and the maximum of some numbers entered by the user. Now the only difference is that the numbers are inside an array. They are not given by the user. So we are going to suppose that the first element of the array is the minimum and the maximum. And after that, we will iterate over the rest of the elements. And each time, we will compare the current element with the minimum and the maximum. If we find an element that is greater than our maximum, then we will update the maximum. And if you find an element that is less than the minimum, then we will update the minimum. So now let's go to IntelliJ. So we have this array over here, and we want to find the minimum and the maximum. Let's start by creating two variables, a variable for the maximum and another one for the minimum. So it is going to be an integer, and as I said, we will suppose that the first element is the minimum, and also it is the maximum. So like this, alright? Now let's iterate over the rest of the elements. I'm going to use a for loop, and in this case, I will start from the index 1. Because we suppose that the first element is the maximum and the minimum. So in this case, we don't need to iterate over the first element. And of course, we will continue until the last element, and each time i++. Now, inside this loop, we will compare the current element with the minimum and the maximum. Let's start with the maximum. I will assign it to be equal to a ternary operator. So if the current element is greater than the maximum, then we have a new maximum, which is the current element. So if this is true, the maximum will be equal to the current element. And if this is not true, it will remain equal to itself. All right? Now we will do the same with the minimum. It will be equal to a ternary operator. If the current element is less than our minimum, then we have a new minimum. So the minimum will be equal to the current element. And if not, it will stay as it is. So this is the same logic that we had before. But this time, the numbers are inside an array. Right now, when we finish executing the loop, let's print the maximum and the minimum. So let's print the maximum is equal to and concatenate the maximum. Also, let's print the minimum is equal to and concatenate the minimum. Let's run the program. So in this array, the maximum is equal to six and the minimum is minus three. And this is correct as you can see. So this is it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.